The Nigerian bond market witnessed a mixed sentiments this week on the back of increased demand on long-dated instruments. However, the market awaits next week's bond auction, where 360 a billion uh, will be on offer across four maturities. Chukan Wachiko, head of ELM and balance sheet management at UBA, joins me for a market update. Chuka, thank you for joining us today. Has it been a thank good you. day of trading for investors? Yeah, yeah, it's been a good day for, of trading. Um, we've seen, um, especially those who are, you know, long in um, T bills and bond. Um, uh, mature um, bond uh, securities. Uh, we've seen you drop uh, well over 300 to 350 basis points, and I'm sure those who are who are long, um, the investors will be smiling to bank now. Mm, it's funny how the market is tilted towards the long, <laughs> long end of the curve. But talk to us about the 360 billion bond auction slated for Monday. Uh, are there any uh, new uh, reop Are there any reopenings f amongst the, amongst them? No, no, no. Basically, it's the same um, uh, for maturity, 2029, okay. 20, um, 2033, and then um, 2050 as well, 2053. Um, so, like you mentioned, uh, 350 billion will be on offer. Um, the last bond auction, uh, which was last month, um, the longer end, which is uh, 2053, came out at 15.7, uh, and this bond is currently trading uh, around 13.9, uh, 14.2. And that shows you the drastic drop in yield between last time and now. Now, for the DMO, of course, on behalf of the federal government, uh, domestic borrowing, is that still on track in terms of the volumes that uh, are going to be borrowed for the year? And uh, the rates, where the rates are now, are they looking more favorable for the government? Yes, yes. Um, um, you know, it's uh, where the rates are now are really not looking too good for the government because government, we obviously, would like to borrow as cheap as possible. Um, but then uh, we've seen this yield, um, you know, move uh, drastically in terms of a drop in uh, in yield, and I mean, so we've seen the rates drop drastically in terms of yield, and so um, for the next bond auction, we see expect to see um, high uh, um, high subscription levels. Um, government really has said earlier that they're going to borrow heavily in the local market, especially with the bonds on the bond um, on the bond side, and this is because the they look to um, finance. Um, I mean, they look to uh, to have the payback. Um, you know, depends on them. Get the payback from the auction. You know, I mean, from the from the auction and from the securities. They will um, obviously like to you know to give themselves space, and that is why you see that they play on the longer end, the 2050, 2049, just to give them space in terms of repayment. Um, on the TBU side, uh, for example, the last auction. We saw um, government offered 141 billion and then s and so there's that, that amount. But however, subscription was well over 600 billion. So that shows you the interest there are, especially on the longer end of the curve. All right, let's talk, quickly talk about the uh, FX market. Naira at, uh, I believe, 746.28 today. So that's looking good uh, for the, the Naira against the greenback. But we know that the CBN has been intervening at the market. And I was asking uh, an analyst earlier on, on uh, earlier on today, uh, if this could potentially become a regular uh, thing at the market where we see the CBN coming to intervene. I mean, keeping in mind that the reserves are not, I, I believe, somewhere around $38 billion. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, one is be also been said that even at uh, between 30 and 38, we're still good. CBN is still good and can continue to uh, intervene even, with, even at a $30 billion level. But what are your thoughts? Is this something you, you see uh, happening often? Yes. Um, so yesterday, um, the uh, I and E closed at uh, 746 levels. Um, though today is trading between 746 and 820 levels. Um, CBN, like you rightly mentioned, has uh, continued to intervene in the market. Um, that has also helped to, you know, to ease the pressure on the uh, on the demand side. And so we see this continue uh, over time. Um, in terms of um, you know uh, the foreign uh, reserve. Uh, we've seen that uh, most of the policy put in place by the government is working. We are producing, we are selling more crude um, unlike before, and that will always help to cushion the um, the foreign reserve. And so, CBN will probably be more comfortable, you know, continue to intervene, knowing fully well that um, they have a, a, a strong reserve um, to cushion the Fed. 